Well, it is Wednesday, October 25th, 2023, and looking out the window, it defines it's kind of overcast day. It was warm this morning, 60 degrees when I went running, and I think it's going to be in the 60s all day today, and it's just going to be kind of a rainy day today. Um, but then I think we have a couple of days coming up with temps in the 70s before we get uh, some low temps in the 20s next week. The devotion for today is entitled Risk of Fall, written by Kaji Dosha. Kaji bases the devotion upon Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31a, New Revised Standard Version. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. And then Kaji writes. On July 10th, 2019, Zahir Ali had an unthinkable accident and consequently spent months in the hell of trying to save his leg. He shared, Part of my rehabilitation involved relearning not just how to walk, but how to live with and manage the risk of falling. With every step, something within us is working with the risk of falling. Who hasn't fallen at some point in life? Consider a toddler. We toddle, which involves a lot, quite a bit of falling, before we walk. Falling is encoded in the act of walking. But what do we do with the, that risk? Do we keep moving or do we stay still? Zahir's ordeal helped him to realize that he, like so many able-bodied people, had taken walking for granted. But now he considers the blessing of every step. And in that consideration, he invites us to take a moment to step with purpose. His instructions? Study the context. Consider all options. Make a plan for how to succeed, all before taking the first step. We still might fall, but when we step forward in the Lord, when we take the time to wait on the Lord, our very help in times of trial, then God will bear us up. That's the road before us, the promise of our faith. Your strength is coming, beloved. And the prayer. Thank you for bearing me up on eagle's wings, God. Selah. Amen. Well, a couple of things for me that came to mind when I was reading this um, was um, a couple of years ago, I had a couple of falls running, um, one of which, in fact, I dislocated my pinky finger. They put it back in place, but it's no longer straight. Um, and um, it was a path that I had walked before, I ran before. In this particular instance, um, somebody had left a packing strap from a box rather than cutting it it was a loop and I didn't see it and I must have stepped on it with my left foot and my right foot got caught as it, the loop popped up and I went down hard really hard <clears throat> and um, I don't know it was probably a few months later I tripped again um, on uh, over a railroad track when a piece of the railroad tie was broken and sticking up and I didn't see it and then another time I tripped over a heave in a sidewalk, but yet I'm still running. Although in the dark now, I make sure I'm wearing my headlamp so I can see. And I'm looking down at the ground. I'm not just looking ahead, um, but just scanning constantly. And I think there's there's a metaphor in there for what we do in life. Yeah, I think we should. Um, as the here suggested, study the context, consider all options, make a plan for how to succeed, all before taking the first step. But I also think that um, you just have to not be afraid to take the first step and not be afraid to fall, because you will. Sometimes when you're doing something difficult, uh, taking on um, some systemic injustice, there will be moments in which you um, trip and fall but you just get back up, maybe a little damaged, but you just keep trying and maybe work towards finding ways to prevent that particular fall from happening again. Knowing that um, you never journey on these kinds of um, travels alone, that you are always um, born up in doing the right thing. Just because there's a setback or an obstacle or a, a trip that catches you doesn't mean it's not what you should be doing. It just means that you just 
be more diligent and keep going. Those are my thoughts from this devotion. You may have some others. Anyway, hope you um, hope to talk to you soon. And uh, if you do go out today, you might want to bring an umbrella, it sounds like. And hope to talk to you again tomorrow.